Hey everyone, Amy Carroll here to share a few highlights of my upcoming podcast. Now, I think I first need to start with an explanation about this hair because I just got back from a quick swim in the lake. That's Lake Geneva. And for me, swimming in the lake on a hot summer day, I think it's one of my favorite summer activities. Now, this leads me to tell you a bit about the woman I interviewed for my July podcast, who also has a great love of water. As a child of nomadic parents, the youngest of three children with a gap of like something like 10 years between she and her next sibling, Antoinette Vermillier was an alone child. And as a result, she spent a lot of time observing nature. Now, fast forward a bit. As an interior designer in her previous life, Antoinette coincidentally met a man who worked for the mothership that spawned WWF, World Wildlife Fund. He was the treasurer of the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. It's based in Switzerland and Antoinette's based in Switzerland, so you can see that connection, right? She got in touch with the conservation and this led to the work she does concerning plastics in the ocean today. Now, here's the thing, the tragic reality is many species are suffering. Some examples, 90%. 90% of all sea turtles have plastic in their stomachs. Birds are feeding their birdlings plastic bottle tops, and the stories go on. You've probably heard quite a few of these. So when Antoinette Vermillier set about her life's quest, she thought she was going to be informing human beings everywhere about the plight of fishes. Oh, how wrong she was. Her quest rapidly transformed into a battle against plastic and how it's seeping into our food and our bodies and the drastic effects over fishing is having on our seas and oceans. So I highly encourage you to tune in this Friday, July 15th, to partner up with Amy Carroll on the Voice America Business Channel. That's going to be 4 p.m. Central European time, 3 p.m. British Standard Time, and 7 a.m. for you early birds, Pacific Standard Time. You're going to want to listen to this eye-opening interview where Antoinette offers solutions, uh-huh, she does indeed, to the devastating situation that we are faced with today. She starts with four doable actions that may very well interest you. She also informs us of the radical measures her and her husband have taken to make governments worldwide listen to the extremity of the ocean's dramas. Backed with scientific evidence, Antoinette delivers her message in simple yet shocking terms. Don't miss it, folks, because there's no planet B. Tune in and see you there.